All right, friends, we have another fun weekend of combat sports coming up, a little something for everyone. And so with that in mind, I thought I would give you the three fights that I am most looking forward to this weekend. All right, you ready? Let's go. We'll start with number three. We'll start with number three, and that is the main event for this weekend's UFC card. That is the card taking place at the spacious, palatial, historic, iconic UFC Apex in Las Vegas, Nevada. It is Song Yadong, who's coming off a nice performance, going up against Chris Gutierrez, first time main eventing for Chris Gutierrez. He was very open about the nerves and the anxiety going into these uh, big fights as he continues to climb the ladder. Uh, he had a very nice win over Frankie Edgar in Edgar's retirement fight last November. Solid fight at 135. Uh, feels like a bit of a showcase fight for Song Yadong, but do not discount one Chris Gutierrez. He is a tough out. He has, uh, he has been around the block at this point in his career, uh, relatively new to the UFC as opposed to Song Yadong, but a very tough and durable out. So we'll see who prevails in the main event. Uh, a fight that I think is even more intriguing than that one is the co-main event. That's a second most interesting fight of the weekend, and that is Anthony Smith against Khalil Roundtree Jr. Roundtree Jr. has been on some kind of roll. He has won his last four fights in a row. Three of them have come via stoppage. He is one of the hardest hitting fighters in the light heavyweight division of the UFC, and he does a bit of everything with his hands, with his legs. Anthony Smith, God bless him, taking this fight on less than two weeks' notice, uh, coming off a nice win back in August. Short notice fight at his age against Khalil Roundtree Jr., is a very, very tough ask, but Anthony Smith has always been game and has always been one of those fighters who prefers to be active. So I'm not surprised that he is taking this fight on very short notice. This is a tough, tough test for him against Khalil Roundtree Jr., who seems to thrive in the apex, who's won his last four fights there, and who's really coming into his own as of late. So I'm really curious to see how this one plays out. My most intriguing fight of the weekend, though, it's in San Francisco and it's in boxing, and it's the main event on DAZN pay-per-view. It is Devin Haney moving up from 135 pounds to go up against the super lightweight champion, the WBC, the one and only Regis Progre. A big-time fight. I can't wait for this fight. The buildup has been fantastic. The heat between them has been fantastic. Devin Haney coming off that somewhat controversial win over Vasily Lomachenko um, just a few months back. Now getting a chance to move up against Regis Progre, who may in fact be the very best 140-pounder on the planet. He is not an undisputed champion. He's just the WBC champion, but they say he is the hardest-hitting 140-pounder in the world as well. These two guys don't like each other. Progre feels like uh, the promotion wants Haney to win. He feels like he hasn't been getting the love and respect that he deserves. Just one loss on his record. Haney, of course, undefeated. Progre saying that Haney has a loss expunged from his record. Oh, I can't wait for this. I can't wait for this fight. This is worth your money. It's a great card top to bottom. Some names like Liam Paro and Ebony Bridges, and Montana Love and Andy Cruz on the card as well. But the main event is the, the North Star of the weekend, in my opinion. And it's also my sure thing of the weekend. I think this fight is going the distance. That's the lock. Um, not to suggest it's going to be a boring fight by any stretch, but I think it's going to be a war of attrition. And I just can't see either man knocking the other out. I think Haney prevails, but that's a, that's, you know, five pounds to the layman is nothing, but there's a difference between 135 and 140, and especially the power at 140 as opposed to 135. Really curious to see how it all plays out. All right. Them's the fights. Can't wait for it. Go to BetMGM right now. The king of sports books, they hook you up as we always do. First time user, put in the code Helwani. You want to parlay, we'll boost them for you. It's going to be a great weekend once again as we head into the final weekends of the year. Buckle up, my friends. Enjoy the fights. I'll talk to you next week.